forecast for Thursday, June 6th. So welcome to the new moon in Gemini that we are going to be having at 8.38 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That is when the new moon in Gemini is going to reach its peak potency at 16 degrees, 18 minutes. So we definitely have a lot of head pressure, a lot of heart activations. There's going to be a huge illumination to blockages and challenges due to Saturn's part under this particular moon energy. Of course, if you want to do a deep dive, understand this particular energy a little bit better and how it's influencing your life, I am going to recommend that you jump over, reserve your spot for this new moon in Gemini. On the moon guide, there's a brand new episode, about an hour and a half that we take to dive into your chart to understand how this energy is manifesting, understand the choice points, the decision points that you're being presented with, and how to navigate this energy appropriately. So of course, if you don't want to jump over to the moon guide, you can take a listen to your zodiac forecast for the month. That's going to illuminate a little bit more information, a little bit more details and clarity on how this particular energy will be impacting you. And of course, bust out your Gemini season e-guide and flip to this particular astro event. There are a lot of prompts there really kind of helping you to get in alignment with this energy so that it does not bulldoze you, which is 100% an opportunity to absolutely take place. Why? Because we are fighting against the old, we're resisting the new, and that means that struggles and obstacles are going to be illuminated. We have to pivot. We have a new path, a new direction that we need to walk. And of course, change is not the easiest to adapt to, even with all this mutable energy. So of course, the moon is going to be in Gemini all day. There are 12 different aspects popping off here today. Nine of them are going to involve the moon. The moon in this Gemini energy going to make a positive interaction with Neptune in Pisces energy. This is helping us to kind of get a visual, get an understanding, get a perspective on what it is that we need to do, what it is that we need to pursue, what it is that we need to create from here. There's a lot of creative force energy tapping in here, and it's giving us an opportunity to blend our intuition with our intellect to see what it is that we actually feel we have to do, we have to pursue, what we have to build, what we have to create. I know it sounds repetitive, but this is the stage of the game that we're in, and a major pivot point is presenting. The moon is then going to semi-square Mars, Mars being the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger. He's in his rulership in this Aries energy. This is definitely going to fester those ants in our pants. This is going to put us in a state of agitation, frustration, even ruffle our feathers, get a little bit of anger rising to the surface. Let this be a good indicator on where it is that major change needs to happen, where the frustration is building of sticking to the same same old, same old, not seeing the growth, not seeing the evolvement. We're passionate about something. We're determined to see, see something through. But the lack of action is definitely getting to us at this particular point, And it is definitely festering in not so good thoughts and feels. The moon is then going to sextile the north node in Aries energy. We love this because it means that we're gaining a little bit of perspective, a little bit of clarity, if you will, on where it is that we are making some plans to actually move forward. There's an element of growth that we're starting to see. There's an element of healing and repairment that we're able to see. And we're starting to see some of the challenges and blockages as an opportunity for growth. The moon is then going to come up to bump into team up with the sun. This is what gives us our new moon in Gemini. Again, I'm going to encourage you to use all the resources out there in order for you to stay ahead of the game. But this brings forth a new emotional awareness and likely highlighting options, decisions, choice points, paths, directions. Because, of course, the Gemini energy is very dualistic, is very polarized, very extreme in the options in which we're being presented with. Therefore, a major shift in our mental plane is required before we can actually pivot in the physical realm. Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money in this Gemini energy, going to make a very awkward interaction with Pluto. Pluto being the great transformer himself, retrograde in this Aquarius energy. This definitely is a dynamic duo. We just had Venus's star point pop off. We have just had Jupiter and Pluto kind of enter into this trine. Mercury was thrown in that mix as well. 
And so there's a major change, a major transformation being illuminated in our heart space, likely where relationships are concerned. You may find that there is a certain tension, conflict popping off in relationships at this particular point in time, highlighting different options, different opportunities to break away from that, resolve it, repair it, or just walk away simply from it. And this particular energy is, first of all, highlighting the funk highlighting the opportunity for change for transformation and also empowering us bossing us up to feel in power and in control to actually repair reconcile fix this particular situation and circumstance the moon is then going to interact with pluto because of course if you listen to the moon guide you would know that these are very important aspects we only have two different kind of tension points popping off and pluto is definitely a part of one of those the moon interacting with Pluto is a major shift in our mental plane, a major shift in our heart space. Why? Because there's new information coming to light, likely not so good information, information that we find to be challenging as we are perceiving it as a punishment or things going wrong, not realizing that it is trying to kind of detour us onto the better path. Don't get disappointment over loss, over let's call it uh, things being removed out of your lives. Because again, we're in the process of elimination. And throughout this process of elimination, we are going to be shown the more favorable path, the more favorable, let's call it pursuit of happiness, of joy, of safety, security, and stability. The moon is then going to come up to bump into team up with Venus. This is another conjunction, another reset point. So again, we are very emotionally aware of what isn't working, what we no longer want to experience, where the detachment, the disconnection is taking place in our relationship dynamics. And from that, a new emotional awareness on what we could do differently. Try something different to get a different result, especially where relationships and money matters are concerned. The moon is then going to square off, get into the boxing ring, fight it out with Saturn. Saturn, the Lord of Karma, ruling over roles, responsibilities, systems, structures, foundations, willpower, and discipline. He's in this Pisces energy, really helping us to kind of deconstruct the old ways of thinking, the old ways of believing, because again, our belief system is definitely shaky at best at this particular point in time, because we're being challenged with new ideas, new perspectives that, of course, rock the old way of looking at things, the old way of actually believing in something. This is going to be a harsh reality check. This is going to bring us down a couple of pegs. This is going to help us focus and concentrate on the different options that are currently available to us. It may not feel good. Again, may feel like a punishment, may feel like we're being kind of shook down, if you will, and having some of the important factors of our life removed from our landscape. However, just keep in the back of your mind, nothing is happening to you. Everything is happening for you. This is the attempt that the universe is making to clear the path in which you failed to clear for yourself. Maybe you weren't kind of aligning with the higher vision, the higher goal, the higher dream of your soul self, settling, if you will, for a lower timeline. And the universe was like, you know what? Nope, we ain't having it. This is a situation that isn't going to feel good. It is going to take a little bit of time to understand why it needed to happen. However, if you can hold a positive mental plane, a positive perspective about some of the changes and transformations that you're currently being faced with, you will reap the rewards from it. The moon is then going to sextile beautiful interaction with Chiron, the wounded healer in this Aries energy. So this is going to be a little bit of a boss up, especially from that struggle with Mr. Saturn. This is us kind of seeing the opportunities to see these obstacles and challenges as a test for us to boss up, to see whether or not we can actually override some of the negative programming that kicks in when things don't go our way. This is also another time to be very aware of the wounds the trauma, the pain, the triggers, the activations that we've had as of late and where it is, again, giving us an opportunity to boss up, to be stronger in our heart space and in our head space. Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves, ruler of this new moon is going to be semi-squaring Chiron shortly thereafter. So just when we're feeling like we're making some progress, feeling like we're empowered, feeling like we have this under control, feeling like we have what it takes to reconcile and really repair some of the issues that have come to light as of late, 
we start kind of falling apart in our mental plane. We just adopt a little bit of a negative Nancy mindset. And sometimes that can be a positive thing. Sometimes we have to beat ourselves up and break ourselves down in order for us to put ourselves back together in a much stronger way. This would definitely be one of those situations because again, with the wounded healer being aspected in a not so nice way, all the wounds, all the pain, all the trauma, all the rawness, the realness, the vulnerabilities are coming to the surface for acknowledgement. The sun in Gemini energy, then going to make an awkward interaction with Pluto, the great transformer himself, retrograde in this Aquarius energy. This is air on air action. And so again, focus on the mental plane, focus on where we can be empowered, especially coming out of this negative narrative that just popped off between Mercury and Chiron. This is an opportunity to change and transform the way that we think, the way that we're operating, the way that we're actually seeing things. The last thing that we have going on here today is the moon in this Gemini energy, making a very positive interaction with Uranus, the great awakener in Taurus energy. We love this because this is a major, major breakthrough in our emotions, in our mental plane, in our perspective, in our understanding. We're shifting our mood and our attitude to the more positive sides. We are starting to open up our heart and our head to the new ways that we could actually be doing things in order to get a different result. And a lot of this is stemming from a lot of the tension and conflict that we are experiencing in our relationship dynamics and in our money matters. There's something shifting in our physical form, which is kind of making us a little bit afraid of what it is that we quote unquote could be losing when technically we don't lose anything, we just get the space cleared out for something new, something better to kind of fill that particular space. However, we're starting to build in our, let's call it perspective, our understanding of what needs to be done. And again, a lot of that information is stemming from the process of elimination, the hardships, the challenges, the obstacles, the not so nice information coming at us that we again are using to eliminate options, choice points, decisions, paths, and directions from the plate in which we currently have in front of us. So a major shift, major shift in mood and attitude, major breakthrough, if I do say so myself, kind of freeing us from a lot of the weight that we've been sitting in for the last couple of days.